Hey, how's it going? And today I wanted to show you how to create some verse code that would allow you to check whether an agent is a Fortnite character or something else. I'm doing this because there is this principle in Unreal Editor for Fortnite that while all players are agents, not all agents are players. And so I thought it might be useful to have just a little bit of code for situations where you may want to determine whoever's triggering a device or whatever is actually a Fortnite character or something else. So I think there's a lot to be learned from just this little bit of code. So to get started with this, this is actually kind of fun. We're just going to go into the creative devices and we're going to search for a trigger device and just drag that onto the scene and then we're going to search for a wildlife spawner and we're just going to drag that right there and I'm actually going to select that trigger and just kind of move it more into the center of things and then I'm going to make it as big as I can make it stretch it out as big as I can Okay, so that the wildlife is going to trigger it. Then what we're going to do is on the wildlife spawner, we're going to change this from a wolf to a chicken because the wolves will absolutely kill us. And then on the trigger, we are going to make sure that we check the box that says triggered by creatures. Oh, one other thing on the wildlife spawner, we probably want it to spawn more than just four. So I'm going to change that to 10. And that's all we have to do on our devices. Okay, so this is going to spawn in like 10 chickens wandering around. And of course, chickens are not Fortnite characters. Inevitably, they're going to walk across this. And so we'll see if this logic works or not. So once we've got that set up, all we got to do now is work on our verse code. So I'm going to come up here to my project folder here, be in this level. And I'm going to right click and add a new verse file to project. And I'm going to call this check underscore if underscore player and then we'll just go create and save and this just takes a minute to load in and then once that's done I'm going to double click this and go into our code now I already have the code written so I'm just going to delete that I'm going to come into notepad I'm going to select this control A control C minimize that control V and no squiggly lines. And I'll just kind of walk through this real quick. So these are our libraries or modules up here. I'd rather have more modules than I need than less. So some of these I don't actually need. Here, this creates our creative device. Here we create a reference to the trigger device and that reference is, is a variable called my trigger. This is our on begin play. Suspense allows us to use time functions. And then here we're calling based on our trigger device. We're referencing the trigger device through my trigger. There's a method in this device that allows us to recognize when a, an event has been triggered and that's called triggered event. And then using subscribe, subscribe basically allows us to call our one of our own functions that we have created. So subscribe means, hey, when you're triggered, go ahead and call whatever is in these parentheses. So we've created a function called check status. This is just, their standard basic function. The triggered device though does require an agent. So we we have to do this, set it up like this. That creates an optional basically saying any agent in the game is assigned to the agent name. And then that then we query that value, whatever that is, and assign it to valid agent. We have to go and take valid agent player and then reassign it to a new variable player. I guess I can make this big. And then player is becomes our agent almost. And then with that set, we can call the get fort character. And then if there's a Fortnite character in there, this will return as true. So all of these need to be true. So there's three things in here and all three of them need to be true. So basically if it's not a Fortnite character or player, then it's going to be false. And then we're gonna know by default that it's not. If you know of another way to write this, I'd be Please share it in the comments. There's always more to learn with this new language. And that's all we got to do. So we're going to come up here to verse and we're going to go build. And then I'm going to get my verse device and drag it into the scene. And then I just need to link up my trigger. You'll actually be able to see this in action to see that this works. So 
because chickens are definitely not Fortnite characters. So I'm just gonna go ahead and launch this and then I'll be back once it's ready. Okay, we're ready to go. So I'm just gonna go start game and let's see if this code actually works. So the chickens should start coming in. And up in the left, you see this is not a Fortnite character. You see that? We'll see, we'll wait a few more to, they just kind of wander around a little bit. But notice as they cross the trigger, they'll say not a Fortnite character. It's no telling where they spawn up at. See, this, see how they're crossing and they're not Fortnite characters, see that? So the only Fortnite character in the scene is me. So if I walk on the trigger, this is a Fortnite character. So as many times as I walk on it, it says this is a Fortnite character. So all I can do is assume that that code is correct. And we can do it one more time just to double check again. Let's go in game. He's not a Fortnite character. He looks like he's going for the trigger. Well, that's not a Fortnite character. <laughs> not a Fortnite. Not a Fortnite. Can I kind of drive him toward the trigger? Seeing that they're not Fortnite characters, see that? Yeah. And then if I come across, Fortnite character. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. This was kind of fun to figure out. <laughs> anyway, have a great day and I'll talk to you next time.